If you do go on to enjoy today's video, please remember to hit that like button and of course subscribe for more content. And if you need any coins for Ultimate Team to get a head start on the game, head to the link in the description. Use the code TVM for a discount at checkout. What is going on guys, Tivim here. Welcome back to a brand new video. I want to try and do quite a lot of these type of prediction videos. So this isn't going to be the only flashback predictions that I do because two of the cards in here are going to be more of a concept than anything else. It's been mentioned before, I've talked about it a lot previous years in FIFA's, but uh, we'll get into that when we get there. Uh, we're going to go through a few of the cards they could choose for flashbacks this year with Axel Witzel being the first one. Chris Smalling is one that's on my list. It'll be a flashback to his FIFA 17 footies card. Um, that, that year, if you remember, he was one of the most overused centre-backs. He was in everyone's squad because he was... Well, that's I think that's where the, the phrase or the name Smaldini was coined. I think that's where it started to sort of originate and that's where it came from. But uh, this year, you know, we've gone for lower rated ones because we're at the very beginning of the game. As we progress and we sort of move on, we'll, we'll do higher ones. Carlos Tevez is normally a card that pops up along the way with regards to flashback. Remember that really horrible brown and greeny type flashback design? I think that was the last time he had one. So we're a little bit overdue for a Carlos Tevez uh, flashback card. It would essentially be a flashback to his FIFA 16 card. Although, of course, because he's had so many, we're going to flashback to any point in time. Just because it's a flashback doesn't mean it will be the same rating. Axel Witzel has proved that already. They're not going to dish out 90 plus rated cards in October, especially for things like flashbacks. Connor Plianka, who remembers this guy? Um, he had a lot of informs in FIFA 17, but even beyond that and further back again, back in sort of FIFA 13, I think he still had usable cards. Now at Shakhtar, this could be a, I wouldn't say an overpowered card, but a very good card nonetheless. 93 pace, 89 dribbling, 87 rated overall. Looks like a really nice fun card. I don't know whether you'd be able to fit him into a starting 11 without an icon, maybe a super sub, but... I, I suppose that would mean that he would have to be quite cheap. Now, the concept I was talking about at the very beginning is this. Ronaldo. Why is he 87? Why the hell would I want an 87-rated Ronaldo when there is a 92-rated Ronaldo in-game? How many of us can afford to buy Ronaldo? N not even just now, but at any point during FIFA. Ronaldo and Messi and even the likes of Mbappe and Neymar, they're always really, really expensive. But more Ronaldo and Messi than anyone else. They hold a huge price the entire year round. And then they're, they're out of packs half the time anyway because they have so many special cards throughout the season with what they do with goals and assists and informs and then they get special items that are dumped in packs. It's just, they're too expensive. And, they, and they're almost too good because of that. So what about releasing lesser versions so they're not as good you know they're in slightly different position to give them that sort of added i don't know edge well not even an edge but it's just like that added well you're not going to quite get him as a striker but you are going to get a version and of course we are talking about messi as well so we might as well introduce him he's sort of been right wing for most of his career he has had central cards and i know it's 86 rated i don't care if they're both 86 they're both 85 they're both 80 i just think it would be nice because these cards are good. They're still very good cards. And they would still be expensive because they are still Ronaldo and Messi, right? But how nice would it be for EA to say, look, we are going to release flashback cards, Messi, Ronaldo. They're not as good as they are right now. You know, I know they're in the 90s right now, but they are going to be 86, 87, 85, whatever. We're not going to make them as anywhere near as expensive as the top end version of the card right now. So it means that if you're willing to take that sort of downgrading quality, if you will, you can still use Ronaldo and Messi in Ultimate Team. You're still going to have to pay for it. It's still going to cost you a fair few coins. You know, It's going to cost you a few hundred thousand, definitely. But you are still going to be able to use those cards. I would love it. I really would. Moving on, Ryan Kent. Last year, absolute nightmare of a player to come up against. This year, he could maybe, maybe get a flashback. And of course, it would be a flashback to last year. EA may skip a year, and we may have to wait till FIFA 22 to get our hands on a flashback Kent, but 
On the other hand, EA might may be really lazy, as they normally are, and they might just go, well, let's just give them what they had last year and what everyone was raving about last year. Let's just give them a Kent. It might not be 87, it might be 85, it might be 86. It might not be anywhere near as good as it was last year. However, I am kind of half expecting something like this from EA at some point. Moving on to Acuna, a very similar situation to Ryan Kent. He wasn't anywhere near as uh, used as Ryan Kent, but... Acuna now playing in a better league, or rather better league to link, rather than the Portuguese league, I think this could be a very interesting prospect. Again, it's going to be a flashback. I mean, you could argue that it's a flashback to his FIFA 19 team of the season, but still, last year, he had a lot of cards. Obafemi Martins. Uh, is he back in the game this year? Because I don't think he was in... Uh, he's been in the last few FIFAs. I think he's been missing for a good few years, maybe even five uh, but it would be a flashback to around the sort of FIFA 15 card. I remember using Oberfemi Martins in FIFA 13. He had like 93 pace. He was about, a, I don't know, 700, 800 coins or something ridiculous. Really, really good fun player to use. Not the most desirable league, but would still be really nice. Good link with Diddy, for example. Wilfred Boney, again, I think returning to FIFA. Has he been in FIFA? Like, maybe he has been in FIFA for... The last I don't know how long but he's finally found a club anyway and he could have an okay card if they gave him good pace this would be a really good card actually because this year more than ever height and physicality are actually really useful so yeah watch this space you never know moving on to a player that always gets a flashback always gets some sort of special item we are talking about Javier Mascherano uh, he has been a center back for the last few seasons so whether they decide to give him a, um, a centre-back card or whether they move him into that CDM. I, I don't know. He's been sort of hovering between the two positions, CDM, centre-back. I, I don't think he'd be that great as a centre-back because of his height this year with crossing being as it is. But mm. uh, Florenzi has been given a once to watch or rather will be given a once to watch tomorrow. But I don't think that's going to stop EA in the slightest from issuing some sort of flashback card. What they might do is what we've done here is moved him into the midfield give him that sort of central midfield position or CDM, whatever it may be, and just make him slightly different, you know? So they've just moved him out of position. So if you do want a Florenzi that may or may not be the same rating as that one's to watch at some point, it'll be a completely different position. And of course, Iron Robin. Now, position aside, Iron Robin, back in the game, they may give him a flashback to the time where he was at Chelsea and he sort of played primarily, well, not primarily, but he played on the left a lot. He may be given a flashback to when he was just dominating at Bayern. He was on the right. He may be given a central card, just why not? But Iron Robin being back in the game and not having the best of cards right now, I would not be surprised at all if they gave him... A, in fact, it's not even a... It's not even a... I wouldn't be surprised. It's a matter of when. Do they do it sooner rather than later? Do we get a lower rated flashback or do they leave it until the new year when team of the year comes out? And then are they even going to be able to do team of the year? Because most of the seasons weren't even play. Anyway, Robin will get a flashback card. I all but guarantee it. There are plenty of other players in this game that have been reintroduced that will probably end up as flashbacks. But that is going to do it for today. If you have enjoyed this video and you have suggestions of other players that we could see as flashbacks, whether it be flashbacks to last year's cards or even FIFA 19, 18, 17, even as far back as FIFA 10, feel free to let me know. And is there a particular concept you'd like to see? So, for example, with Ronaldo and Messi being flashback to lower rated cards, giving the, the people who don't maybe play the game as often or have as many coins to be able to go and pick up these type of players... If there's a concept like that maybe floating around your mind, let me know in the comments and maybe we'll introduce it into the next iteration of our prediction series. If you have enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for new, and until the next time, goodbye. Join the betting rebellion and find out what your football knowledge is really worth.